Why have people around the world wanted to move to America? Why has the left demonized America's history so much? Well, it's because the ethos of America is about individual human empowerment. Doesn't mean we ever measured up to our dreams, but we went further than anybody else. And if you look at Western architecture and all that it symbolizes, it really is the leading system in the world of human empowerment. And that's why the globalists are openly trying to overthrow a republic, because as long as a free country exists and private property exists and the right to keep and bear arms exists, well, other people around the world are going to see that as an example and they're going to end up demanding it for themselves. So now we see the globalists, the mainstream media, the electronic voting machine companies engage in a massive steal against the landslide of Trump, telling us that he is the president-elect, meaning Joe Biden, even though the Congress and the states have not certified him. Again, it's their attempt to psyop us into submission. That's why starting tomorrow, we're kicking off rallies across the country, but here in D.C. with a Stop the Seal event right outside the White House, that park right next door at 12 noon for two hours and marching to the Supreme Court building. I'm going to be there. I've been all over D.C. today at restaurants and on the mall and in my hotel. There's nothing but patriots everywhere, every race, color, and creed who are one race, human beings with red blood that love God and have a soul and realize what's happening. So it's an amazing time to be alive, and I'm very blessed to be here and I just want to thank all of you that have come to DC all of you demonstrating around the country because regardless of what's happened and regardless of what happens to President Trump we've called the globalist out they've openly had to steal this in front of everybody the communist Chinese are involved funding it all and we've made the enemy uncloak and reveal itself Bill Gates Fauci the UN the, the, the Chinese virus and so they're the ones that are in trouble they're the ones having to crack down on us because they're in panic mode so we finally forced them to fight us out in the open that's a very important time Let's pray to God for justice and for discernment. I want to thank you all for your support. Thank you all for being here in D.C. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow. Here we are at the historic Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. Right in front of me is the Washington Monument, the White House, the heart of our republic. The globalists are battling to take over. You say what you want about Lincoln, but he believed he was restoring the republic. He believed he was saving the republic. You look at Biden, he's a globalist who wants to end the republic. And it was Lincoln that was fighting the very same Democratic Party then that was trying to break the country up. And that's what they've done. But now they've gotten smarter and have psychological warfare and propaganda to try to divide the people. But in the end, it's not going to work. No matter what happens to Trump, we're going to continue to fight on against the globalists until we've restored sovereignty to the United States of America and pulled out of the United Nations and the globalist system. We always knew that a consortium of mega corporations were trying to take over the United States. We always knew that one day the U.S. would go under U.N. control if we didn't stand up and educate others and say no. But they didn't come with blue helmets with the military. They didn't come with foreign armies and aircraft carriers and fighter jets and bombers and people paratrooping out of the sky like Red Dawn. They came politically. They came in the name of fighting racism. They came in the name of giving everybody free stuff, free houses free cars, free education, and now the United Nations is openly running Joe Biden and the Communist Chinese and their COVID-19 response and censoring thousands of medical doctors and scientists all around the world that speak out and expose it. And we've seen massive censorship against the American people. And so now almost everyone's been censored or they've gotten in line, except for InfoWars. We're one of the last men standing thanks to your support, your word of mouth, and your prayer so please, go to InfoWarsStore.com today and get a classic InfoWars shirt. Get water filtration, get air filtration, get books, get films, and get the incredible supplements of the highest quality you're going to find anywhere. Just like our information is hardcore, our supplements are powerful. I would check out DNA Force Plus. I'd check out X2 and X3. I would check out Vitamin Mineral Fusion, Ultra 12. Our fish rolls the highest quality. There are so many great products. Whatever you do, spread the word about the broadcast and know the enemy of America is hoping you don't take action. But the main rallying point for modern Paul Revere's is Infowars.com, Band.Video, and Newswars.com as well. So again, I know you're taking action, and I salute you. Don't play it safe. Don't roll over. Don't be censored, or you're going to lose everything. Speak out and tell the truth today and visit InfoWarsStore.com and get incredible products or the biggest sales we've ever had at InfoWarsStore.com.